Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Brenda. Hope you're all doing good. Uh, I thought today we would work with our 6x6 paper pads again for Christmas. And if you don't have 6x6, use 12x12, 8x8, and you can just adjust the sizes uh, to what we're doing. I just thought we would come and make a few of these fun little pockets, and I have some little pieces of library pockets. I had made this, I put this journal together. It's very tall. It has a one inch spine and it's 10 tall. So it's, it's 10 by four and a quarter with a one inch spine. But I had, you know, an old envelope. This is what got it started. I had this junk mail envelope and I just started collaging on it. And then I had this beautiful little um, card. It was from a, a swap last Christmas, like last year. And I just added some um, card stock, like the Christmas card stock and some coffee dyed paper to it and just kind of made it pretty. And so I, I need pockets for it and little pieces of goodies. And I just thought... To do that, let's we can just uh, make a few things, and I thought, well, I'll better turn the camera on so that we can all do it together. All right, so if you'd like to grab some supplies, just grab your six by six. Um, if you have scraps, that's great. Use scraps. If you don't, get junk mail envelopes and use them. I mean, you can easily make those into pockets. You just have to add your decorative paper to them, right? And then I'll show you how we fold them. So this is a six by six paper. And I'm just gonna fold it in to and leave about half an inch on the one side, just like that. I don't use a scoreboard. I'm just going to fold it in, fold it down and my paper's crooked, but I mean, that's okay. So I have my one side folded there. So I'm going to go on the bottom and I'm going to fold up the bottom, probably the same, half an inch. If you have decorative punches, you can use your decorative punches for the, um, for the top of it as well. So there we go. We have the, we folded it left a half of an inch, fold it in the half inch, and then fold it up the bottom half an inch. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off this side right here, just to the score line, just so that it's hanging out like that, and then taper it so it looks like that. And that's on the opposite side of your fold, just so you know. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper in there just up to the score line and I'm just going to cut it straight across. So then you're left with this. And you know I don't cut very straight so I need to just trim that off a little bit. And we have that. So when you close it, that'll get glued like that and then that'll come up just like that. And it's really not straight. <laughs> so I'm just going to trim it because my paper was not very straight at all, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, does it? So there we go. So then all I did, and you can pick, like, I've seen where... Um, people have it like this, and this is what is showing on your page. Or you can have just this showing on your page without this part here. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put a little divot just in the top. Just like that. So that shows the pocket. And then I'm going to grab some glue, and I'm just using my clear tacky glue today. And I'm just going to add glue 
to the outside of our folded piece and then bring this over just like that. This glue is pretty good. It might take a minute to dry just because it, because it is a wetter glue. And then I'm just gonna glue up the bottom. And there's our pocket. And then with other scraps, you can make a tag. I just, this is old um, scrapbook paper that I had coffee dyed. And yeah, what better time to use it, right? Just pop it and you can put a, um, a pull tab at the bottom or at the top of it, sorry, to help pull it out. And then you just dress your envelope. So I had, do you remember these from the other day? These are just, I used a mousse punch and I just punched them out with some, uh, with some paper. And I'm just gonna, like, why not? Just add it right there. I went and dug out all of my Christmas embellishments because, as you know, I'm, I'm in Christmas <laughs> mode right now. And why not? We finally have some sunshine. It was sure cold this morning. And then there you go. And then I have, like, you can just, you can add words. You can add another pocket on here and stuff it with goodies. Washi tape. Excuse me, I just, I just brought my bin over. And I have, these are kind of shiny, but they're all kinds of uh, Christmas words. And... They're just like little chipboards, but um, sending magical Christmas wishes. Like there's, there's just all kinds of different ones. I just need to find one here that I'm gonna pop on it. And just, just joyous Noel, it says. And why not? We'll just add it to the top. And it just gives it an added element of uh, pretty just like that there you go there's one quick easy enjoyable and you can just pop them out like nothing now excuse me for a second I'm just trying to I had a pad of paper here that I wanted to show you here. Um, this is from Stampin' Up. It's a few years old. I don't know if they have this kind of stuff anymore, but you can always check on their website. It's called Winter Wonderland. And it's, it's the basic black one, but it's vellum. I mean, I have no vellum. Like, this is the only vellum that I have, and I'm just pretty excited to use it. And it's just all these different ones. And then it has the golds as well. But I thought I would do one. And we can make it, you can make it a shaker. You can make it anything. Here's one with snowflakes. But I'd like to make it another pocket. So we'll do the same way. half an inch hopefully I'm not off screen there and bring this side in just a little bit and this is it's quite old so I don't know if it's going to um, hopefully it doesn't break you know sometimes when uh, things are old they have a tendency to rip and so the same idea just going to cut across trying to do it a bit straighter but I don't know if it's working 
and then taper it off a little bit just like that and then I'll do the same here and then we're just going to cut out the little square and there we go just like that and this time I I managed to uh, measure it a little better but I am going to cut just a little bit more off of here because I, it really went crooked when I was cutting. If you're not comfortable using the scissors, you know, to do stuff like this, then just use your cutter. I mean, that'll work too. But I'm going to use my, my white tacky glue rather than the clear. Why? I don't know. And I didn't put a, a notch at the top there this time. I'm going to do it on the opposite side. So I'll just... Oh, if it works. I wondered if it would work or not. Just so it doesn't look a little ratty. I'll just do a little shave on the corner. There we go. Okay, so I'll just... Just like that. I don't know what the best glue is for um, for this. I haven't I haven't used it enough to know. So I, so I'm just going to use this glue, and it seems to be holding quite nicely. And it dries clear, which is really good. You know, so you don't get the you don't get the look of the glue underneath just move that and there we have that pocket it's so pretty all right i have well, in my in my um like i have a large bin that i have filled with um with christmas and I'm so happy because there's just so much on there. And these are just chipboards. Most of what I have has been from Dollarama or Dollar Tree from way back when. I don't know. So far I haven't seen them with this kind of stuff again. So I'm just going to add them there right like that. So it's just, yeah, it just brings so much loveliness when you do that. So I'll put that aside for a minute. So we have a couple of those. And we'll uh, add them to the journal. Just um, We'll just get a couple done first and then we can, uh, I'll put them inside and you can, you'll see what that looks like. So this, this is my version of a library pocket. I just took um, just a scrap piece of paper, get my, and I cut it. This one is uh, three inches by six. So it's basically a six by six cut in half so that you end up getting two for the price of one. Like, can't go wrong there. And then I folded it up and I left. And you can you can gauge um, how much space you want here. Like if you can make it lower as well and have more of a backing. But this was my first one to try. And then you can round the corners. You can, if you have bigger, you like the bigger corners, then do bigger corners. I'm just going to pop... Do library cards have little notches? Probably not, but I'm going to put a, just a little tiny notch in there. And you can ink, you can do, you can do all of that stuff if you want. Do real vintage or, you know, vintage Christmas or shabby chic Christmas. It doesn't even have to be Christmas. Like, it's just what I happen to be doing because I have all this paper and, you know, that we're, we're going through using up all our papers. So there's a little library pocket. 
I mean, how cute is that? My goodness, it's just adorable. So then let me grab, I'm just grabbing little, my, all my little bags. Like I have a ton and it's all from, these ones are all from Dollar Tree. And I must have, I must have a ton of, of them. And this, look at this. Like, how pretty does that look now? You know, it's not quite dry, but that's okay. And then you'll just take, I just made this, and of course it's too tall. Well, let's cut it down. Right? Don't be afraid to cut things down and make things to fit what you have and what you're, what you're using, what you're going for. And there we go. And then... Let me just grab my journal. Like I can't, I don't want to make things too wide because it is only four and a quarter. So if you, oh, let me just, oh, pick a page, Brenda. All right. So for our vellum pocket, we can put it right here. Because it's see-through, like, well, it's translucent, I guess is the word. It can be added right there. And when you pop things in there, you'll have that. And when you take it out, you see the paper in behind it, right? And you can leave the side open for a side tuck if you want, or the back open for another extra tag. You can put little pockets on the front of this and have some little pieces of ephemera. You know, and then the next one, like, you can just put it there and the same thing you can leave the back open you can make this tall you, it doesn't have to be this small these just happen to be like our six by six sheets right and then there's this one and same thing the same thing you can leave the side open you can leave the back open you can glue just two sides and have it as a tuck spot like that would be lovely as well so many ideas and they go so fast all right let me just do you want to do another one let's do another one um i do have a, oh here's my paper <laughs> just looking what can we do if you want to make a long like an envelope type thing let's uh oh, that, let me do it this way. Oh, want to make have, have a bigger flap. So I'm just going to eyeball it and fold it. And the little flap that I left, it's an inch. It's just an inch down. But when I turn it over, I'm just going to try and leave a little space at the top, just so you have room. See there, there's my line. And then, and there's this piece here. All right, and you can, again, you can put a little notch in it, just like that. I think my, my punch has been, is having issues. So just like that. And if you wanted to put in book page and have it as a, like with multiple pockets in there, you just get a couple book pages and you fold them in half. I don't have any book pages on hand here. Uh, oh, maybe I have one. Let's just check it out. So you're going to fold it in half lengthwise. So you want it to be the same length or even a bit smaller than, than what you're working on. Let me just cut here just to see. So this is crafting on the fly. Have you noticed? I'm just going to give a little trim. And then if you do do pockets like this, then you can just fill them with goodness. Let me see if I have another, another book page. Might as well do it. 
since um, I'm talking about it. Oh, Brenda, you have to have a book page somewhere. A whole craft room and not one book page. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I guess for, for now, it doesn't even have to be a book page. Let's just get a page. So I just have a piece here. Yeah, I just ripped it out of my book here. But that's what happens when you're in need of a page, right? And I'm just going to tear it down. And then I'll pop it. Let me just do it this way. And then I'll just cut it to make it same size. And I mean, this is... Sometimes this is how I craft, you know, I, I just kind of think of something and then I just do it. All right, so two pieces of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add glue to the center. You can use glue stick, glue tape, it doesn't matter. You just put it in the center. And this idea came from my friend Liz. Hi, Liz. And she is the paper project here on YouTube. She is a beautiful, beautiful lady. And she inspires me. And she does, she does one page wonders and she encourages people to create and she came up with these um, pockets and so I learned them from her and I do like to do them quite often so you have your two pockets just like that the glue's still wet so don't and then you're just going to set it in where you would like it just, you don't want to go over your crease, of course. And so the same thing. I'm going to pop some glue in the center. Just like that. And then just give her a little rub. Alright, and then at the back, you're going to do the exact same thing. like that. Close it up. Let me just burnish that. This is going to be a great addition. Like I wasn't even planning on doing this. Well, you know, there wasn't really a plan, but, and look at that. You have this gorgeous little like wallet envelope and you can just fill it with all kinds of Christmas goodies. You can even send it in happy mail like, oh my, why not? Someone would be so ecstatic to receive something like this in the mail. And I'm just gonna, I just round it off the corners and then you can dress it like we did the other, the other ones, like just, just a simple way to dress. And I wonder if this will be too tall. There's there's flowers on the edges of it. So let's find out. Oh no, that's going to be perfect. So I'm just going to pop it there. Wow. Just like that. And you can have a closure. You can put some ribbon on it if you'd like. Some uh, um, sari. What is that stuff? Sorry silk. Um, sorry ribbon. Or um, if you have tiny glue dots. Or you can make a belly band for it. Like that. A belly band would be awesome. And then there's just these little tiny snowflakes. And you just, you just start adding beauty to all the projects that you make. Like, like how gorgeous. And then with all your little cutoffs, I mean, you can just 
put your little cutoffs in there, you know, and these, like these words, you could just pop some of the words in. And you can just fill all the pockets. And of course you can make more pockets than this. But how cute. Like, oh my goodness, like all this stuff we've made and in no time at all. Like we have, there's already four, four things done and they're all going to go into my journal that I'm, I'm making. And yeah, so I just want to do one more library card, if that's okay. So I'm just going to have a bigger back, maybe. I don't know, maybe right there. And again, it's just six by six paper. Just that. But I wonder, I think I like that. Just like that. And then you can cut it down. If I cut it in half, I'll just follow the line here. And it might not be directly in half, but you know what's nice is you'll get two. You'll get two pockets and yeah. And I'll have extras um, for my Christmas journal. And I'm making like a lot of this stuff that we make, as you know, whenever I do um, happy mails and stuff, I always put in things that we've created because why not? I mean, we're making them and I want to, I want to bless others with, um, with the stuff. just like that and then just like that you have a pocket and if you wanted to do the measuring and stuff like that like I think I have seen people who have the flaps at the side and they put them to the to the back and then you don't lose space in your pocket I haven't tried that yet I may try that one day we'll see and then this is a skinnier one, but that's okay. It will still house goodies. You can still put your, your handmade goodness inside and send it off or add them to your own journals if you're doing Christmas. All right, and there we go, there's two more. Oh my goodness, we are just rocking with getting all this stuff out. I have some mitts. I mean, I I made these from, uh, I think I had a die cut with just some old Christmas paper. I mean, you can pop some mitts in there. Maybe we'll do this. And this is just to show you. So I'll pop some mitts in there with a moose hanging out. This is just because I have this stuff on my desk, right? And then... I have some little words here. I, I'm hesitating to put it on the camera. I don't want it to, I don't want it to be too shiny. But uh, you know, I can just pop one there, and then here, oh, just grab a couple. And you know how I like to make everything I add to paper. <laughs> I always seem to make pockets and tucks, but this time I'm just, I'm just gluing them on. There we go, just like that. Make a wish and meet, meet me under the mistletoe. That's what those two say. And they were from a, um, a store that used to be in Edmonton here in Alberta. I don't believe the store is there anymore. But uh, there's two more. Like, holy mackerel, you guys. Look at what we did. Uh, we did awesome. I really hope that you're, 
you were doing this along with me too because how quick how quick are these projects like wowzers and like this you can pop here and you have it peeking through yeah, I don't know like this they can go on any page you can do more than one on a page it doesn't have to just be by itself actually I think I like that I'm going to be doing that so I'm just going to leave it there for a minute and then our I think this is dry now our little envelope that we made yep it's all dry and it's a really nice length so it can come to the back here and it can be popped on this flap this is just a it just like flaps out like that and then it does have a top does it have a top pocket mm. no it doesn't huh well okay sorry <laughs> it's just it's like why did I sew it then anyway so this can get added here open it up you have your goodies inside like wow I just love that I mean you can even use something like these as as a closure right I'll just grab a, one of these you can add this as a closure so what you'll do is you'll glue one side you can make a little collage of goodness and just glue part of it down like half of it down and leave this part free and then just close it up right when you're done just like that I, I probably do that I'll when I come back the next time I'll I'll show you what that looks like I think I'm just gonna make a little collage and and for that that's you know like you have a piece of paper um what else do we have here anything I have this little stamp it's you know and then I can put you put some lace there and then you have this and then when you attach it you'll just glue down here and I know it kind of takes away from our our lovely sticker there but you know you can make another one and not have the sticker there and then add the cluster to it as well but I'm gonna leave that there so actually I do this all the time don't I it's like no no show before we go everything that we made I'm learning I'm still I'm I'm still uh, learning but look at all the goodness we've made today can you believe that we did awesome all of this library pockets and the other one didn't come out it wants to stay there because I did do two of them but that's okay so there we go this was our creations today I really hope you enjoyed yourself and had some fun with me I certainly enjoyed hanging out with you guys and um, thank you all for being here with me. Thank you for all your lovely comments and for your interaction with me. And thanks for sending me photos of the stuff that you create. I love it. And I so enjoy seeing everything that you guys are doing. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a very, very blessed rest of your day. Take care. Bye for now.